A HEALTH ALERT THIS AFTERNOON ABOUT HEAD LICE AND WHY IT COULD BECOME A MUCH WORSE PROBLEM. RESEARCHERS SAY THAT DOZENS OF STATES, INCLUDING KENTUCKY, HAVE STRAINS THAT ARE NOW RESISTANT TO OVER-THE-COUNTER TREATMENTS. WKYT'S JENNIFER PLUMBO IS AT THE LIVE DESK WITH WHAT PARENTS NEED TO KNOW. JENNIFER? SAM, HEAD LICE SPREADS VERY EASILY. IT'S A NUISANCE THAT CAN BE COSTLY FOR PARENTS, ESPECIALLY IF THEY BUY OVER-THE-COUNTER REMEDIES THAT DON'T WORK. Researchers say Kentucky is one of at least 25 states with strains of the pesky parasites that have a genetic mutation that makes them resistant to most over the counter treatments. The problem is the active ingredients in most of those treatments aren't killing lice. Dr. Beth Haas, a pediatrician at Commonwealth Pediatrics in Lexington, has this advice for parents. Right. So if you called my office and said, I've treated with over the counter, I think my child still may ha have head lice, probably the first thing I would do is bring you in and actually check your child's head. Because I've had that happen before where they still have, it kids still have itching, and that can occur for up to four weeks after you've treated successfully for lice. So sometimes what you're looking at from itching is just irritation from the treatment itself. Dr. Haas says in other cases, the treatments don't do a thorough job because parents don't use them as directed. She says she's seen very few cases of lice recently. 100% of the lice tested from Kentucky had the ultra-resistant strains. Researchers only had two samples, but both of them were resistant. At the live desk, Jennifer Palumbo, WKYT. Jennifer, thank you. And doctors say this new finding does not mean you cannot kill lice with over-the-counter remedies. You'll just likely need a stronger dose.